All right guys, so teardown on Project 7.3 has begun. Um, not a lot of filming because the amount of work that needs to get done to this truck is kind of insane. And filming every little bit that I'm gonna do is really pointless to be honest. But anyways, I got the, like I'm not here to show you exactly how to tear down the truck. I'm more here to show you putting in that new engine into the truck. Not really, you know what I mean? Not really taking the old stuff off. So, got this entire front clip thing off. This isn't the first time I've done it. That's why it went pretty smoothly. Uh, I did it on that parts white truck, that, that parts truck we had. Um, anyways, you take, the, you take the grill off first, bumper off. There's another like header panel that the headlights uh, are bolted on to. You gotta take that off. Uh, headlights you gotta take off before you take that off. So you take the headlights, then you take that header panel off. Um, it's really just eight millimeter bolt. I mean, um, yeah. And uh, then there will be another big support piece that bolts into here. And here, it's holding by like 13 mils on each side of it and eight mils. It's a really sturdy piece. Um, you can hammer that up. It comes off with your hood latch and uh, that'll all come off, so. Uh, once all that's off, you take your condenser off. I think the order, yeah, the order is condenser off, radiator off, then it's uh, intercooler off last. So that went pretty smoothly. A lot of work, but after that, I started to take some parts off the engine that need to be disconnected before the engine's pulled. Um, the only thing I'm really having trouble with is these fuel lines down here. Uh, you can't really see them kind of see the shiny thing right there but anyways they they tell you to use this little stupid plastic tool um what they don't tell you is how the fuel lines are most likely corroded especially those uh inside which allow makes it so that you can't put the tool all the way in which would push those pins up you can't even do that because there's so much rust and stuff inside of it um obviously on the nice pieces that are like tucked in the frame rail and stuff those are really clean. <laughs> Cause I practiced with that tool on a nice piece that came off uh, a fuel tank from another truck uh, over there. Um, but there were really clean lines of kind of, I guess I fell for that, but I'm gonna have to do some semester cause they snap inside of it. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get those out. <clears throat> Other than that, it's been going good. Got the downpipe off. All the sinister parts are off of it. Uh, I got that 42 pin disconnected. Really working at it. Um, that's a hot side from both sides. You just got it hanging out there for now. Uh, so far, so good tear on teardown. So, see you guys in the next uh, big segment. There's not an, a bunch I'm going to show you here. Uh, I just stated what I took off. So, I just want to kind of show you it step by step on each stage of teardown. Not really super in depth. So, thank you. All right guys, so I hate to just jump into it like this because I know so much has changed, but anyways, last night, I've got some pictures. It was a pretty big, pretty big night for me and a long night. Um, we pulled the engine and trans out last night. Uh, we actually, interesting enough, we pulled it out as one piece. I know you probably don't see that a lot, but we did pull it out as one piece. Um, disconnected everything two days prior to that. So I, I, it took me a good couple hours to get everything disconnected. Um, you know, trans and engine wise, uh, the right way. So I don't even think, I only forgot maybe one line and it wasn't even that big of a deal. So um it's out <laughs> i'll take a few steps back for you to really understand how big of an assembly this is i mean we took it out with that uh hoist right there um pretty pretty crazy uh to, to take this out as one piece however it saves you like just dropping because i've done this job uh about two months ago i, I did an automatic replacement uh automatic trans replacement and um 
it's huge pain getting it down. Even like, well, first of all, getting this off in the truck is such a pain. Um, but another thing it really is, is that just dropping it. This thing has an eight inch lift on it. <laughs> so dropping that trans was gonna be a huge pain. So we decided to do it this way. A little bit difficult, but wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah, it's kind of crazy just looking at it like this. Like, here's the engine trans. Here's my truck as a roller, which is hard to believe in itself. I uh, never really thought there would have been a day. And here's my new trans. There's my new engine. You can see that turbo. So, um, all my ideas are kind of starting to come to life, which is really crazy to say. I mean, I've been thinking, thinking about this for months now. Um, so to see it like this has been pretty, uh, pretty excited. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm sorry. Some of this stuff's going to be everywhere, guys, because it's just so much work. I really can't record everything. It's a ton of work. Um, I still have to rip that entire interior out. Um, yeah, for the whole ZF6 swap. So, definitely try to keep you guys updated. So far, honestly, so good. Uh, I haven't, really haven't messed up too much. These fuel lines are going to be the death of me. But other than that, <laughs> other than that, um, oh, you know what I just realized? Yeah, other than that. I'll get you guys, uh, soon. Okay, big update for the whole <clears throat> truck side of the build here. Um, last time I checked in, we just took this out. Uh, it was like the day after. It was last Sunday, actually. Um, so what has changed since then? A ton of cleaning's been going on. It's still not done yet. Um, but as you can see, a lot cleaner than it used to be. Uh, this stuff's just... The truck's, uh, you know, over 20 years old, so you're trying to get, really what we're trying to do is get all that grime and oil and stuff that's been leaking on this for the past 20 years, since this is definitely the first time this engine has been out of it. Um, so we're just trying to clean all that stuff up, which is what we're doing. Um, so, everything just, in this general area, just cleaning going on, haven't really done a ton yet i mean as i showed you all the, every, i mean it's just everything's out of it everything's out of it so that's all we're really doing there but once you get into the interior a lot of things are because there's really the only thing to do in this area is clean because the next step with this whole area is once the engine once we get the engine in transit so other than that it's already all the wiring stuff it's all inside so pretty organized we get into the interior here, the whole ZF6 swap process has begun. That's what I'm going to go over with you guys right now on basically what's been done. <laughs> so right off the bat, you're probably like, oh my god. It's gutted, the interior. Um, rear seat I took out. Uh, passenger seat. I mean, all the new seats we just put in, we just took out. As you can see, these are drilled holes for the, our custom 2017 seats that we have this thing. But, uh... What I did yesterday is what I'm going to point out. It isn't, all the stuff's very time, all the interior stuff's very time consuming, but I converted it. It now has three pedals, guys. So it's a, it's a, it's going to be a manual. Um, not really any going back now. This job's a huge pain. Um, just because of where these nuts are for that brake pedal, you do have to change brake pedals. I'm aware this doesn't have the pad on it. I'm getting... A new pad for it. The one that was damaged, I believe, and I uh, kept falling off. But get a new pad for this pedal. At least we have the pedal. Um, clutch pedal is in. It actually goes. If even if you have automatic, the factory studs. I'm trying to get an angle. Oh, there it is. Anyways, there's a stud right up there somewhere. It's right there but um there's two sets up there factory the holes also there factory so all you have to do is install the pedal um i'm aware it's so far up right now it's because it has no pressure the cylinder or whatever isn't even uh, attached to it yet so that's why it's sticking up like that because the spring is pushing all the way up it either does that or or that <laughs> so that's how it is right now but it is bolted on um another thing i did actually a big thing that i did this is a completely different steering wheel, steering column, 
it's a manual steering column. So I took the automatic one out yesterday. It's really just four nuts and a bunch of wiring. So you gotta disconnect this. Uh, these two plugs need to be disconnected. Um, this just needs to be taken off this mount thing. Um, this needs to be disconnected, this whole assembly with these two uh, screws, nut bolts. Um, what else? Um, it's really just wiring, kind of self expanding Oh, this uh, has to be disconnected from the steering shaft with that 10 mil right there. Um, now that after that, it should be, it should pull out. But the reason why you have to change them is because the obviously the automatic one has the shift lever on the side. Um, and you really you don't want if you want to look legit, you don't want that. Uh, I'm trying to make this as factory as possible. Um, don't really don't want it to look butchered or anything, and I don't want a shifter there when it's manual. That will look pretty dumb. So, um, it also has the seat. It's just you don't want that. You don't need it. So I have the manual one in. Um, I also under this put the manual gauge cluster in. As you can see on the bottom, there is no there's no park or neutral drive. That's not there. This is a manual cluster. Also has 169,000 miles on it. So looks like the truck uh, lost some miles with that new uh, cluster, but I put that also in. Um, you, you may call it overkill, but it's gonna look factory. I don't want that drive in there or anything. I don't want it to have like a blank space or something stu like kind of stupid looking. So it's gonna look pretty factory guys. I'm changing out everything. Um, but I got that all done yesterday. It was a good bit of work, but the interior stuff starting to it's starting to get done with. I mean, it's kind of what I was dreading is bending over under this for a while, but crank that out. Next, fabrication side. This is a really big deal, actually, of what's been going on. Um, so this is the manual center tunnel section um, of the floor. Um, that came out of our parts white truck, as you can see, it's white, um, but it came out of the ZF truck that you must cut out because what you need is you need to actually weld it into your automatic floor because the automatic floor is just like, just about a straight there and that big manual ZF won't fit. So you need this tunnel, this piece of the tunnel because it goes obviously way higher as you can see that angle there, a lot higher than... Look where the floor is there, look how, look how lower it is, but really what's been going on is we've been trimming this to a perfect cut. It's a really clean cut right now, as you can see, um, but that's such an important piece and you can see how it's going to go. It should end up being literally close to factory, very, very, very clean. Um, you're not going to, obviously, you're not going to see the walls or anything because there's going to be carpet right over it. And we have a brand new carpet for a manual that we already have in, so it's all good news. Um, so, uh, I mean, what's going to happen next is we're going to cut out a piece of this floor. Obviously a lot, um, a lot smaller. It's not going to be an exact cut that we have room to work. We're not that exact guys, but, uh, as you can see, it's just clean with the masking tape on it of, uh, so that way we know where it's going to be. The cuts on it are just about the final cuts. The next step of it is cutting, cutting into this clean floor here in Weldon. Um. I guess you could you could call it a little bit risky, but it's gonna be it's gonna turn out great. Um, just kind of kind of step up, man up. Can't really care about stuff like that. I also don't like. I'm not. I'm used to it. This whole truck has been rust repaired. I've seen like the rockers literally off this truck, so nothing new to me. Um, but the floor, guys, I'm impressed with the floor. Very clean, literally no rust on it. So more and more impressed by this truck. So that, so all ZF swap, that's pretty much what I want to show you, is the whole ZF swapping of the interior alone is a lot to change, so. We got that over with. Um, yeah, so really guys, interior's gutted. Everything's gutted out of this truck. Um, it's literally a roller right now. Um, so next video, guys. Next video, we might be putting this thing in. Or maybe some small details, but we might be putting that engine in in the next video. Um, well, obviously, before we do that though, no, I'm going to record. 
before we do that, I'm gonna have, we're painting all of this. All of this is getting fully painted, as well as underneath where the trans was all under there is getting painted. Um, Cause you'll never have access to that again. <laughs> you won't have access to that again. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the build going on. Uh, it's pretty cool. We got the truck here, old engine and trans here that we took out. Our new ZF and bang. Our 95,000 mile engine sitting right here, getting ready to go in. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. All right, so after, uh, well, I think what you just saw was uh, that this piece mocked up uh, today. Um, and it was a cut perfectly, I believe, when I showed you. It got welded in. Um, it looks really good. As you can see, it's blended in pretty nice. And right now, there's just a uh, some seal seam sitter on it. And obviously, it's all going to get cleaned up. Um, but right now it's, that's where it'll be. And so far it looks like it's in the perfect positioning. It's going pretty well. So just want to show you guys that to see, so you can see how it should look and the right way to do it. So yeah, that's it.